Speaker, since January 2020, over 550 branches have been closed down by Australia's big four banking monopoly. Most of these closures were in regional towns with growing populations and thriving economies. All over central Queensland, we are seeing the impact of, of this with branch closures in communities such as Gladstone, Tannum Sands, Mowra, Biloela, Theodore, Emerald, Springshaw, Capella, Mundubra, Gingin, Gainder, uh, Gracemere, Taroom, Wandai and Mount Morgan. These savage cuts to banking services and presence are a blow to the local communities, particularly the elderly people with disabilities and those with limited access to transport. Even amongst the younger population, many people still prefer to do their banking at bricks and mortar branch rather than online. And this is particularly true of many farmers, small businesses owners, sole traders who still do much of their business in cash. The Australian Banking Association likes to cite, cite self-funded research showing that the people now prefer to bank online. What they don't say is that a lot don't. The reality is that many of the services people use branches for simply can't be done online. Services like cashing a cheque, depositing cash, takers for the day, obtaining a bank cheque and withdrawing cash. Something else the banks won't tell you is how, how they've been using manipulative nudge tactics to actively discourage customers from entering the doors while gradually withdrawing over the counter services and hours. According to the Financial Sector Union, many workers in banks must meet performance targets to reduce the number of customers coming into their branches. That's shameful. They are trained and coached to, to redirect customers to ATMs and or online banking to reduce foot traffic in the branches. If they fail to meet these targets, they may be subject to performance management and, in some cases, termination of their employment. So what the banks frame as a natural transition to online banking is revealed as a yet another top-down agenda that is being imposed on Australians outside their full understanding or consent. Deputy Speaker, it is time politicians found their voice and stood up for regional communities by instructing the banks to do their job of serving the Australian people. They charge us for it. Banking should be declared as an essential service with minimum service levels legislated for in Parliament. The banks have been the beneficiary of billions of dollars in the taxpayers' monies over the years. It's about time they gave something back in return. The people of Australia deserve a fair go and to be treated with respect. What they don't deserve is seeing this greedy banking monopoly announce multi-billion dollar profits while pulling key services out of their local communities. This is a very sad state of affairs and we should take it into hand and change it. Thank you, Speaker.